name is Baratunde Thurston. As a journalist and blogger, I've made it my business to keep my finger on the pulse of technological change. What's the world gonna look like in 2030? Get ready to see the future. Higher, faster, farther, more outrageous. That's the future of adventure. Where technology takes flight, turns urban streets into thrill rides, and gets everyone on the planet speaking your language. The future of adventure promises better ways of getting around. Well, there are folks making superhuman strides in that department. Wherever you want to go, across the desert or your own hometown, there's a new way to get there faster and with lots more fun. Velocity stilts improve the simple act of walking by leaps and bounds. It's designed for speed for being able to jump. It's gonna be able to allow you to run faster, jump higher, just have a lot more fun in transportation or any kind of adventure that you want to put yourself into. At first glance, velocity stilts might look like glorified pogo sticks. Fun, but a little impractical. But inventor Jeff Jay designed them to merge almost seamlessly with our legs. They're only 18 inches off the ground, but they can an insane amount of speed. It's almost surreal. You're running three times faster than the normal person you know, jumping so much higher. Jeff started thinking about power stilts while watching Paralympic sprinters with high-tech artificial legs. He was also inspired by the kangaroo. Now, a kangaroo has these giant feet in the back and giant tendons. Because it's organic material, uh, they can store energy. We can't store energy, but we can kind of emulate how they move. To reproduce the bounce of a ruse hind leg, Jeff employs a hinged arm that transfers your downward energy into a powerful spring made of flexible fiberglass. It's made out of e-glass, which is a, a material that they used to use in helicopter blades a while back. It has an extreme amount of pliability. I can't even compress this right now because of the density of it. You get the speed from the spring's compression and it throws you. So you're creating energy and it throws you forward. And one test that I did for the military, I ran 23 miles per hour chasing one of their quads. And we had to do a height test and, and it was basically how high you could jump vertically. I jumped up and sat in a 10 foot basketball rim at an Air Force base just to kind of show them this is about how high you can go. You can bet the military brass weren't just thinking about sports. Infantry could cover serious ground with these things. Same goes for law enforcement or emergency response teams. Any situation that calls for fast footwork will find velocity stilts useful. But it's the fun you can have on them that's the real draw. Bounding through any terrain like you're on the moon adds a taste of adventure to the most mundane mission. Well, velocity motion stilts are a way to transport yourself from one place to another with a little bit more flair, if you will. I find things to do along the way. Like, I'll find things to jump over and challenge myself. As you're running, it almost becomes like skateboarding, like this street course. Velocity stilts could become the new skateboarding. There'll be races, daredevil stunts, maybe even an Olympic event. Or they might just get you to school on time if you overslept. I still get a kick out of the way people look at me when I'm jogging around in these things. I think it's in its infancy right now. There's a long way where this can go in the future of adventure. I think it can be something really, really huge. You know, I never really liked playing basketball growing up because I wasn't good, because I couldn't jump. But jumping stilts could change all that, giving me and every other no talent player out there more hops than LeBron James. But beyond dunking, we could hop fences jump over cars, leap tall buildings in a single bound, becoming our own superheroes in the process. Watch out, Superman. In the future, we could all achieve great heights.